Good morning. We're very cold uh, Wales. I am a bit further into the Brecon Beacons today. I've come out for three reasons. Um, firstly, I wanted to bring my Intrepid 4x5 camera out with me and shoot some waterfalls of it. Um, I've got four sheets of HP5 Plus, um, so we'll see what we can get with that. Um, I, uh, I'm enjoying shooting it at the moment. Um, it can be immensely frustrating shooting it, but when you uh, finally get get it right, it uh, it's it's nice. Um, I've also bought out my Olympus OMD One Mark III. Um, what I want to do with that today is I want to try the composite um, live H uh, ND mode. Sorry, uh, just to see what it's all about, really, um, just to see if it works. I'm sure it does. And see whether I like it or not um, against using a traditional um, filter system. Uh, I've always used leaf filters in the past, so yeah, I will. Um, when I get up to the uh, top waterfall, which we're going to start from, I'm looking to put the drone up, um, get some drone shots, and also use both of them cameras and just to see what we can get with them, really. So, so it's cold, there is snow on the higher mountains. But it is a beautiful day. There's no sun yet. It's uh, quite cloudy up there, but there is some breaks in it. So we will see what it uh, what we can get today. So um, I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe um, if you do, and leave a comment below. Again, this walk, although it's not yet, because I um, I've only done this walk twice. Although this is a little one, I've got a bigger walk around here planned of probably going to be about 15 miles um, which I'm going, hoping to do at the end of this month so what I want to do is to get loads of photos from the area um, develop that page on my site and then obviously put the walk uh, guided walks together uh, so that they can be available to download on the site um, so keep an eye out for that on the on the website and I hope you enjoy the video see you shortly Okay, so welcome to uh, today's, well, the first shoot of the day, really, um, which is the, I think this is the highest waterfall. I've not been higher, so um, I think this is the highest waterfall, and you'd have seen that in some of the B-roll footage already. So I've got my composition set up. I've used an app on my uh, phone. Again, I will, I'll put the name of it on in the uh, description below. Um, got my composition. I've got some nice water leading up to the main sort of event which is the main waterfall um, I've got my 90mm um, Fuji lens on I've already taken a light reading because I use my camera and I use light meter free um, to take a light reading of the uh, of the area so what I've got is if I use f22 I've got two seconds if I use s16 I've got a second so I'm going to take a shot with both um, just because I want a little bit of uh, motion blur in this water below so I'm going to set this up now um, I've not done my composition yet or anything I've not brought a, um, a dark cloth out of me today so I'm literally just going to have to bury my head in this and to see what I can uh, what I can get but let's see what um, what we can get really I suppose so what I'm going to do at first is I'm going to open the aperture to its maximum so it's wide open um, once I've done that, it actually allows me to have the, app, uh, have the actual um, opening fully open so that I can actually make the most out of what you can see through the, uh, through the ground glass. And I should be able to, which I can, see a fair amount without the need for a dark cloth. That's actually quite, quite well focused, actually, considering.
I've got to admit, I do like shooting with this um, 4x5 camera, but it is not a camera for if you're going to come for a walk with your raft. That's all I'm going to say. It takes a long time to set up. Um, but I like that. I like the fact that it slows you right down. Um, I've only got four shots of it. I've only ever got four shots of it. So you really got to think about what your composition is. You've got to make sure you've checked and double checked that the camera's set up right, that you're in focus, that you've got the right meter reading, that you haven't left the aperture ring open on the front when you uh, take your dark side out and expose the film to the light. So yeah, it's, it is good. I enjoy it, but it can be massively frustrating at times. Right, I'm liking that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna put my cable release on. Try not to fall in the water. So all that happens to this, this just screws onto the front. So what I wanna do before I uh, show it any film is to just check that the shutter is firing correctly. Make sure that's screwed in properly. Right, there we go. So if I just close that. Yep, that's all firing properly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it to first F16. And I'm going to put this down to two seconds, which is actually valve exposure on this. F16, just going to do a test shot, make sure it's all firing right. Which it is. That's great, right. Okay, so it's going to be a second first dark side in so it is going to be a second at f16 make sure that the aperture lock is off so that the um, the aperture shutter is closed so I'm not going to expose this to light I'm going to take this first dark side out cut the shutter this will be a second And that's it done simple as that so these slides um, for those of you who don't know have two colors they have a, a gray color and they have a, a black color what I do is I start anything that's got the gray side on for me you can work whatever way you want but the gray side is unexposed as soon as it's exposed I turn the dark to the uh, black side and I put that back in if it will go back in that is there we go Okay, so this time I'm going to do F22 for two seconds. Change that to F22. Just going to test the shutter first. That's firing correctly. Just check it again. firing correctly right two seconds move the dark slide shut it's got and that's it that's as simple as that that's two shots taken I've only got two shots left so what I'm going to do now is back in there remove that I'm actually going to pack this away now and um, we'll carry on up further to see what else is, is um, further along the walk there is a few waterfalls back behind me um, so I will definitely end up using all of these sheets of film 
Um, what I'm going to do now is to get the Olympus out. I'm going to shoot some digital here. Um, I'm going to try out this um, live composite ND mode um, that it has and we'll see what the results are of that because I've never tried anything like that before. I've always used filters. Um, so yeah, I'll be interested to, to try it out. I'm hoping that it works because for me, you know, I carry my drone, I carry my film camera, depending on what it was. Sometimes it could be two film cameras. Um, it could just be this. I carry my, um, I've got my phone gimbal, which is on now. I've got a tripod. So obviously you can see now, I've actually got two with me today, just in case I need to film on one. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you end up taking. So anything that can save me weight, is, uh, is all fair and uh, game for me. So anyway, I'm gonna put the drone up now. I'm gonna try the Olympus out and I will see you shortly. Okay, so you uh, join me at the next location for my 4x5, which is these two waterfalls here, and this bit of tree going on here. There's actually a composition right next to it there, which I think I'm also gonna take. Um, I've only got two shots left, so I've already metered this. Um, F22 will give me about one tenth of a second something like that so um yeah i'm going to get the uh the four by five out and uh yeah take a shot of this and hopefully uh, we get something decent i just did the camera so you can see what i was doing so this is the setup for the four by five It's basically a lot of adjusting and messing about with to get it set up. Now, I've probably chosen one of the worst lenses uh, or focal lengths to use with this camera, 90 mil. I do find it very difficult to focus with this lens, um, but it's actually the focal length rather than the lens. So I will get a, a 180mm or 150mm at some point, which is closer to a uh, sort of prime 
focal length. Right, let's get this all level. Start from position where everything's level. Yeah, this isn't a camera to bring out if you're on a walk with your significant other, unless she's got loads of patience with you, because it takes time. Uh, yeah, it takes a lot of time set up. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to open the aperture blade right up so that I've got the most amount of light going into the camera so I can see what I'm doing when I'm focusing. So I'm going to get my loop out. Actually, again, I can see quite a bit just from standing here, actually. Smooth the bag. Okay, see what we got. Okay, that looks good to me. What I need to try and do is where a uh, dark cloth would definitely come in handy. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is just move the camera towards the tree a bit. Because I want that tree in my shot. Not all of it, just some of it. but I also want the waterfall in the background in. Say, all about just making sure that everything is set up. Everything's level. Because it would be quite easy to come out here and just waste for sheets of film okay just going to use the um, app on my phone quickly just to make sure that the um, that the composition is right because uh, I'm just struggling to see in the corners just to make sure it's right so I've actually got a um, uh, an app on my phone which uh, will take a 4x5 um, and the lens and will basically give me a view of uh, what I'm going to get in the shot basically so I'm just going to use that now I'll be back in a sec okay upon reflection what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn this into a landscape shot um, which on these 4x5s what you do is you literally twist that sideways like that so um, yeah I just had a look through the um, uh, the app on the phone just to sort of see what I was going to get now I think I just prefer um, it in a landscape format rather than portrait. I was going to shoot portrait. Um, I think for this one here, I'm going to shoot portrait, but for this one, I think it looks better landscape. There was a bit too much sky involved and really the sky adds nothing to this shot. I also just uh, did a double check on the meter reading and it's about, if I use F22, it's about half a second. So um, that's what I'm going to go with. So I'm just going to double check again that everything is, is where it should be, which it is. Now I'm going to do the usual normal checks of um, checking that the shutter fires, that I've closed the aperture blades, that the F stop is on the right one. So we said F22, half a second, which is there. Just going to test fire this now. Right. Okay, that seems to be okay. Right, so I've caught the shutter. That's closed. Let's get a dark side out. What in? 
<laughs> Lovely morning for it. Okay, so let's carry on. Lady just out of me, just taking a photo of the uh, waterfalls, and rightly so, it's beautiful. Okay, so um, just back to what we were doing before then. So I've checked everything. Just gonna double check the shutter again. That's firing fine. Okay, dark side out. Shutter cocked. Moment of truth. Shot taken. Turn it around so it's the uh, black side facing outwards to show that it has been exposed. Turn the little lever to lock. Simple as that. Well, I'll say simple as that. Take half an hour, set it up. But So um, that's that shot there. Um, what I'm going to do now is move around to this one here and take a portrait of this shot. It's another waterfall just coming in uh, from the left here. So I'm going to take that one. Um, and hopefully that one comes out. So, I'm just going to adjust everything and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've just repositioned a bit, let the dark side out from the last shot. Um, I've just repositioned a bit because I thought it looked a little bit messy here. Uh, so I've cut that out, uh, these trees here, and I've got this log and then these trees in the background and also no sky because there's not a lot of point having sky so make sure they're all locked i've got to re-level this up I'm done i'll just tighten that up same thing again widest aperture Cut the shutter, open the shutter blades, enables you to see what's in front of you to be able to make sure that everything's in focus. I'm going to change the orientation back to portrait. So just move that. There we go. And let's see what we got. Now I've already done a metre reading for this and uh, I've got F22 is just over a second which is quite dark just want to make sure that this is in focus Should have bought my uh, dark cloth out with me today. Would have been a lot easier. So I'll put that in my pocket. I didn't feel the microphone was. Right, so again, what we're going to do is just make sure the shutter's firing. Which it is. I'm going to make sure that I've got the right settings. So F22... over a second so. blade to shut just going to check if it's firing which it is okay top side in make sure we get the right one otherwise we just end up double exposing the same sheet which I've done before okay so double triple check everything a 22 right cut the shutter it's all working okay let's have a moment of truth dark slide out shutter cocked
shot taken. And that is four sheets exposed. So that's it for today's video. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, it's been more about this uh, 4x5 today than anything else. Um, again, if you like the content, like the channel, um, please press the like button. Um, click to subscribe, click that bell icon to make sure that you stay up to date with my, uh, my videos up and coming. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I hope you have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Go on, you two. There's one. Rambo, come on. There's the other. So like I say, make sure you look out for this walk um, on my website and photos from not just here, um, but elsewhere in this uh, local area around here. Um, I've got a couple of walks to do here, just to uh, try out, make sure that they work. Um, and as soon as I've done that, they will be on the website, ready to download for free. Okay, so that's it from today's video. Um, just got back to the car. Dogs are in the back, um, fast asleep. Um, I've got some good shots today, I feel. I won't know until I get home and develop them, uh, which is what I'm gonna do later. I've actually got a roll of um, 120, I think that was uh, Ilford Delta 400 actually to do as well. So I've got a little bit of developing to do when I get home, some scanning, and uh, then obviously downloading the photos on the digital camera, um, as well as putting this video together. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I enjoyed the walk, it was only about a mile, so really not very far. Uh, it took me two hours though, because there was a lot of setting up of cameras and bits and pieces. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, press that subscribe button, press that like button, press that bell icon, and I will see you in the next one.